What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, CEO of MTS Nutrition, squatting daily. Now today I did it all at once. Did it all at once, I had a busy day, so I actually went to the basement gym. Basement gym in St. Charles, Illinois, my favorite gym. I love this gym, I love this gym so much, but I decided to start out my chest workout with squats. And I didn't know if it would affect my strength, expect, affect any of that stuff at all. But I went up to 315 on the safety bar. Now this is weird for me. You should be able to do more weight on a safety bar, but for me, it was awkward because I haven't done these in forever. I haven't done these in forever. So for me, getting the balance and getting everything in tune just took some time. But I would like to start using these every time. I'm gonna start going to the basement gym as often as I can with my wife. And they're just good people. They carry the outright bar. You know, I really enjoy it. But this was difficult for me because of the balance. This is the money set right here. I worked up, did some warm ups. 150 pound dumbbells. You guys have seen my vlogs. I haven't done dumbbells in a while. I don't have dumbbells at my house that go this heavy. Went up to 150 pounds for 10 controlled, concise, and beautiful reps. Did not expect this. I uh, did not think it was possible. <laughs> But I felt so good doing the warm ups that, hey, I'm like, you know what? Let's give this a shot. And boy, am I glad I did. Anyway, from there, I did flies. Here, I did the whole entire stack. Now, this is a heavy stack. This ain't like the ones at LA Fitness where you do like 15 reps. This was really, really hard. Really hard. One set to failure. That's all I need, man. I've been getting some good gains. And I get all my volume training when I do boxing. You know, so I'm really in the zone right now. I'm in a really good mental state, really good zone. I'm feeling fucking great. So I also did a drop set because I didn't do many reps. That was really fucking heavy. But hey, if you want to get big, you got to get crazy. So here I go, getting it done nice and slow, nice. And I was done. I literally could have quit after the first one and I would have been just fine. But again, at home, I'll have his dumbbells, so it's good to use machines. This is the final thing I did for chest. It's a super drop set on this incline chest machine. Now, I really like this one. I like it as good or better than hammer strength. I love the angle. I love how you're able to kind of bring it up. It comes together a little bit at the top. I love it. I love being able to have the neutral grip on it. I feel it more. And then I did drop sets. Now, being that I don't have anybody to help me with forced reps, when you're training alone, you get them drop sets. And the drop sets allow you, when you're doing one set to failure, to truly make that one set worth about 10 normal sets. You know, you're exhausting your nervous system, you're exhausting your musculature, every single fiber in your body is firing, the entire chest is on fire, you're controlling it, you're doing as hard as you can, you're able to push as hard as you can, you're able to really dig deep, and then you get lighter and lighter. And it's funny because even if you get lighter, because you're not recovering, because you're not taking that time, letting your ATP, all your energy stores kind of refill, kind of come back, that you're in a situation where that two plates feels like five plates. That three plates feels like seven plates. That one plate feels like three plates. So everything gets heavier and heavier. And at this point, even though I didn't go to failure, I only did a few, like three or four sets, you know, the squats actually aid in making you tired. At the end of the day, you only have so much you can do per session. So when you go really, really hard on these and beyond failure, those squats you did at the beginning will sap some of your energy. So when you're doing a program like squat every day, you need to factor in that your body will need to cut down on volume somewhere else to account for the volume put in by the squats. That's just the bottom line. Like there's only a, so much you can do. And as you build up, you can do more and more and more, but you gotta be cognizant. I don't want anybody getting rhabdo. I don't want anybody getting hurt, you know? So that's where you account for volume. One set of biceps to absolute failure. If you've ever done these spider curls, it's basically back, you put your arms backwards on the uh, preacher curl, where it's just hanging down. These are extremely hard. But anyway, guys, here's my workout. Really appreciate you guys watching, man. I am loving this squat every day thing, and I hope you're gonna give it a try because you'll find you'll probably love it just as much as I do. And that's a lot. I'm gonna be real here, I did not expect, I did not expect to hit 150 for 10. I'm starting to enjoy training again, guys. I got my, uh, I already hit half of it, got my s'mores outright bar post-workout. I think I'm ready to come back to basement gym, basement gym in St. Charles. I think I'm gonna be coming here every day I'm in town. I got it, I got the fire back. Guest posing is October 26th. 
Battle at the Border in Toledo, Ohio. I expect to see you guys there. I'm going to link down below. Get tickets. Go there. Support. I'm going to have free outright bars for everybody. I'll see you there. This is the best bar in this show. All 100% natural, man. I can't go wrong with this. I mean, I can have this for all day. I don't need to eat anything. Just have this and boom. I'm healthy. Oh, I need to take this to my guys. They need to taste this, man. This is awesome. How you guys got this, I don't know, but man, this is uh, what's up in the industry, man. What is it, though? It's good, man. Y'all be what you think. It's good. I mean, this is the best party over here.